talking about um, networking in education systems. Now, there's an obvious efficiency in having network systems through schools and knowing that what works in one school may very well be very effective in another school. The network con connections that are made are going to be more effective when they've got a clear purpose and ideally that purpose will be around improving student learning. In deciding on what you want to collaborate on in building a network, um, that, that having a clear focus is going to be important. There are many examples of collaboration between schools that, that work, that are student learning related. Examples like the moderation between VCE teachers of small subjects where the number of students is small and they have to moderate together. Examples um, from, from this school, like uh, our language immersion program, in which we have language teachers visiting the primary schools to assist them with their language programs so that the students are, know what our programs are like and are able to have a greater richness within their own curriculum. The, the assistance that's given in terms of literacy and numeracy at primary school is something that's easily, um, I can easily imagine flowing through to secondary schools as part of a, a, a networked practice. But the spin-off benefits of, of this networking are you know, there, there is the benefit to student learning, absolutely, but spin-off benefits in terms of relationships between teachers, the leadership building and the teacher confidence that comes from networks is very good.